Hi, I'm Dee Gilson, and this is Having a Coke with You, to the tune of Whitney Houston's How Will I Know, for Jose Esteban Munoz. The first thing Jose Munoz said to me, you're a poet, that's precious. In a queer theory seminar, I had fallen in love with his book, Cruising Utopia, and professed as much on Facebook. We started corresponding about the many things we both loved. Frank O'Hara, chiefly, but also Andy Warhol, the boys from One Direction, and Whitney Houston. To be clear, we rarely talked about ourselves, so I know little about Jose. But then again, we talked about the things we loved, and through this, I do know him in a sense. What's your favorite O'Hara? I emailed him this summer, expecting, of course, Jose to say, having a coke with you, the poem that he beautifully used to explain how queerness is always the hope for that which may yet come. But he surprised me. Mayakovsky. I mean, how can you not fawn over lines like, now I'm quietly waiting for the catastrophe of my personality to seem beautiful again and interesting and modern? In the vein of O'Hara writing about Lana Turner, I'd written a series of poems about Britney Spears. All these tragic divas, Jose wrote to me. You homos are obsessed. He meant this as a compliment. We are both sarcastic at every chance. We both love camp as an aesthetic. I don't know what tense to use here, love or loved. But of course, Jose still speaks to us. Queerness is primarily about futurity and hope. This is to say that queerness is always in the horizon. Like in O'Hara's poem, I have been to lots of parties and acted perfectly disgraceful, but I never actually collapsed. Oh, Lana Turner, we love you, get up. Here the flamboyant actress always has the potential to get up again, in a queer time that is yet to come. Oh, Jose. The day Jose died, I was working in the lounge of our English department. My mentor, and more importantly, Jose's friend, Robert McCour, came in and told me on his way to a meeting. I walked down to my own office, stopping to knock on Holly Dugan's door. I cannot, words fail the poet too, tell you what it felt like to stand in her doorway and think about this morning together. Holly and I both adore Jose, though neither of us knows him well. The morning of his actual friends on Facebook overshadowed our own feelings, we thought, and rightfully so. Holly and I hugged. She said, but then again, it shows the power of books, what we're feeling. We didn't say much. We felt. A cliche I so usually backspace from every poem or essay. I'm a 20-something hipster, for Christ's sake one who is not keen on public mourning. But we felt, and I think of Jose in the horizon, the not quite conscious is the realm of potentiality that must be called on and insisted on if we are ever to look beyond the pragmatic sphere of the here and now, the hollow nature of the present. In our last email exchange, Jose said he hated Brittany, but since we both loved Whitney, we should talk about her. Do you remember when How I Will Know started playing on the radio, he asked me. Well, I was barely one in 1985, so only in my queer future do I remember, I answered. Don't be a little shit, he replied. We finally met in person at the American Studies Association this November. We didn't have long, just a passing ten minutes between panels, where we sat and had a coke in the lobby. Jose loved that the conference was at the Washington Hilton, where Ronald Reagan had been shot in 1981. Of course I don't wish death on anyone, Jose said, but can you imagine? But then again, the first Bush presidency was total shit, too. I laughed. Now show me this Frank O'Hara tattoo. I unbuttoned the top of my shirt to reveal the typewriter inked there. Jose tapped the space bar with his pointer finger. He started singing. Tumble out of bed and stumble to the kitchen pour myself a cup of ambition. We laughed. Of course we both love Dolly, I said. I have to get back to the book fair. It would be less than two weeks until Jose would be dead. He gave me a hug. Keep me posted on the dissertation. As he kissed my cheek, 
and shave, why don't you?